I'm steady, cool. I push it up on my shoulders. Flooding my chain and it goes. I don't want that girl, she moves. I'm basically saying I'm cooler. Get Dior, just catch my cougar. Man, can we take a moment to gush about Leslie Brathwaite's collection of plaques? I mean, he has done it all. When you're talking about like rock and roll, pop music, hip hop, trap, all that stuff, he's done it and he's mixed it. And there is not an artist or another producer I could think of that got the collection of plaques that he has, man. This dude is 100% King Midas <laughs> right now, 2020. Man, incredible. But the main thing I really like about Leslie is that his humble ability to put people on in the right direction. And he has done that with me and Daniel and everybody else at Waze. And the fact that he took time out of his busy schedule to work with us. I just wanted to thank him for that because he didn't have to do that. He has plenty of stuff on his plate right now. And, but the one thing I really learned from him is to keep things simple. And especially with vocals is to treat vocals very simple and approach them with a nonlinear perspective. I know a lot of people out there think that there's a certain formula to mixing vocals and mixing tracks and all that, but you'll find it that the best of the best in the game have a simple formula and they never shoot down like new technology, love new tech, use new tech. That's usually the format there. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into those secrets because I know y'all are waiting. So the link will be in the description box just in case you want to see what I'm using in this video. Uh, what I'm about to do is play the track raw with no effects, of course, on the vocals, except for on the ad libs. It will be a slight delay or whatnot, but no other processing. Uh, this is Go All Night by Alomar and it's unreleased. So I'm going to go ahead and play it from the top. Say, why you do it, Tom? Do it, Tom. Do it, Tom. Do it, Tom. Hey. Cause we been going all night My neighbors can't get no shut eye I don't give a fuck, it's my life I don't give a fuck, it's my life Cause we been going all night My neighbors can't get no shut eye Anyways, you can hear the, the delay right there, and I, I'll talk about that delay in a second. So one of the main things that I learned about, you know, the process that he does as far as setting up his vocals is the same thing that I do right now. Like, I set up a nice little group of all the vocals of that particular artist, and then I apply, like, the effects just to save CPU. And that is something that I learned from Leslie, and that's why y'all guys see that in the video. I know a lot of people comment on that, but the first thing that I want to do this track is definitely add some pitch correction because he's singing and certain things are off key, but at the same time, it will sound better if I use like way tune real time to get them on key. So that is the magic behind that. Uh, what you want to do to get that effect, if you want to get that robotic effect is you turn this note transition all the way down so that, that the middle seconds is quite faster. So it'll pick up and do that. But what I'm going to do is naturally roll it up because I know he doesn't want that all the way in his vocals when we talked. So I'm going to set up the key or scale to a natural minor D. So because that is what it is and a D sharp. So let's go ahead and hear those vocals from about this part right here. Let's hear it. But I, I don't give a fuck. It's my life. I don't give a fuck. It's my life. So what I want to do, uh, because it's too robotic, I want to roll it up a little bit so it sounds a little bit more natural. I'm going to slow it down because the effect is too crazy. But I, I don't give a fuck, it's my life. I don't give a fuck, it's my life. Uh, what I do like about this pitch correction over the other guys is the fact that I can choose if I want the vocals to go up or down and there's certain parts where it is going down and it's trying to reach to the nearest right note the right corrected note so what I'm gonna do is again I hit this note and it's pointing up so let's hear it but I, I don't give a fuck it's my life I don't give a fuck it's my life and I added another one in here and that's gonna really help with that process. Uh, you also can choose the different vocal range uh, of the artist. Uh, I could use um, meso, soprano, alto, tenor, but I'm gonna go with generic because generic seems like it works fine. And now we can move forward here. Now, 
this is something that Leslie uses a lot, and it's, of course, our Vox. I mean, everybody uses the Renaissance Bumble, and as you can see, I have the newest version, of course, and I can change the skins to light, <laughs> to dark, or even legacy. I personally prefer legacy over the newer skins, but, you know, they look nice. Uh, but with this, I usually try to catch, like, anything that would sound insane in the vocals, but, you know, there's a great vocal booth over here at Icon Studios, so I do recommend that, you know, if you do record to have the best recording uh, situation possible. But, you know, the gate will save that. It will cut off all of the smaller uh, harmonics that you don't want to pass by, the tr smaller transients. But, I, I don't give a fuck, it's my life. but more importantly is this baby right here. Now, I laughed so hard when Leslie pulled up the CLA vocals. And then at the same time, he laughed too. <laughs> I enjoy Leslie, man. He's funny, man. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, he was like, hey, man, we, we like to use the best tools possible. I talked about using tech to the greater good, regardless of your skill set. And if you have something that does it all and it's an all-in-one vocal chain, why not, right? So this is what the Chris Laura Algae vocals do, CLA vocals. And they're, they're actually really good friends, but that's off topic. Let's go ahead and hear the hear it on now. But I, I don't give a fuck, it's my life. Now, I'm going to turn it off so you can hear it without it. But I, I don't give a fuck, it's my Now let's turn it back on. But I, I don't give a fuck, it's my You can hear that the vocals are larger. Now, the things that I want to point out, of course, you can get rid of some of the bass in the vocal so that way that is no overlapping because the main thing about having vocals, and you've seen it in my Lou Diaz video when I talked about his chain, is that the CLA chain is exactly like the Lou Diaz chain in many cases all combined. So you have like your bass, you can cut off the bass of the vocals so that it don't overlap with like the track, the instrumentation. So that way you can get bigger vocals. But I, I don't give a fuck, it's my life. Uh, I'm not going to add bass, of course. I don't want that. It's going to sound really bad in bigger systems. You will be able to hear like very unpleasant harmonics, but you can add triple as, as well. Treble. But I, I don't give a fuck. It's my life. I don't give a fuck. It's my life. And also what I want to do is show you this part right here where you can change it to lower or sub harmonics. Uh, and you know you can change in the way that you affect the bass and then you can add it in later with another eq just in case you might have lost too much um and that's very normal for the vocal process but what i want to do here is i definitely want to focus on maybe the bite of the treble which would be like the mid area but I, I don't give a fuck it's my life but you can sweeten up the top or even the ceiling part of it. But I, I don't give a fuck, it's my life. I don't give a fuck, it's my life. So I'm going to go the, to the verse because I forgot that the hook is a little vulgar. Gonna roll it up then. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. And it's a huge difference. If I turn this off, I turn CLA vocals off, you will hear a huge difference. Gonna roll it up then. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I done took enough losses. It's my time to win. Now, what I am gonna do here is because it already sounds good enough, um, what I might, I might uplift the compression. And the reason why I wanna grab the compression or I, and I don't wanna brick wall because you have different choices like push, then you have spank, and then you have wall. So brick walling, meaning that it will be limited. What I wanna do is uplift the vocals that are smaller. And that's why you add compression is to, to make the, the lower parts of the vocal uh, higher and then keep the higher parts, which would be louder than the lower vocals in the same pocket. So it'll work as a volume envelope. But uh, I wanna do that. Gonna roll it up then. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I done took enough losses. It's my time to win. Yeah. A guy said it's my time to win. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna addition to different parts here so you can hear. Gonna roll it up then. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I done took enough losses. If you if you're into having a lot of energy squeezed into your compression, the CLA uh, vocal will do a great job of that. I mean, ridiculous job. 
Uh, but what I want to do here is adjust that dang reverb. The reverb is too much for me. I don't want it to sound like he's in a can or anything like that. So I'm going to lower the, uh, the reverb. Go and roll it up then. Roll it, roll it. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I didn't took enough losses. It's my time. And of course, you have different uh, settings for that too as well. I'm going to go ahead and audition now. I might even just go to zero and have it exaggerated so you can hear the large and chamber. Go and roll it up then. Roll it, roll it. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I didn't took enough losses. It's my time to win. Yeah. A guy said it's my time to win. Come on. Young nigga getting paid over time like time. Wait, late. homie, to the back. You need to get in line. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to adjust the reverb. You can bypass them, I believe, so that you don't have to deal with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, you can. You can turn it off. So you just had to hit this. Go and roll it up then. Roll it, roll it. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. And then you can also add delay as well. I don't need that delay in particular because there's another delay that I really like that I'm going to addition. And it, we'll see if it works. But the icing on the cake is definitely this part right here. And this is where I really like about it. It has a stereo widener on there so you can get wider vocals. It's already apparent now. It's already on. So... What I'm gonna do is uh, audition the different versions. Go and roll it up, then. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I didn't took enough losses. It's my time to win. Yeah. A guy said it's my time to win. Come on. Young nigga getting paid over time like time. Wait, homie, to the back. You need to get in line. What is this? I've been working too long, man. You can't cut here. Oh, my goodness. I know <laughs> Alomar gonna be like, man, I want this version. But anyways, other than that, though, really good. Uh, you you start to hear like the the very concepts of how Leslie's vocals sound uh, by him using the CLA vocals. I'm so glad that I got to meet him because of that. <laughs> but other than that, though, that kind of gets rid of uh, the other things. But at the same time, you're going to need like a de -esser. So I got a, a Renaissance de -esser here and we're going to turn that on, you know, just to roll stuff off. <laughs> Go and roll it up then. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I didn't took enough losses. It's my time to win. Yeah. A guy said it's my time to win. Come on. Young nigga getting paid over time like time. Wait, homie, to the back. You need to get in line. What is this? I've been working too long. Man, you can't cut here. Have my time moving long now. We was rolling up till then. Yeah. So now that we have that. Uh, we're good to go. And of course, with this Renaissance de uh you can change the skins too as well. If that really does matter to you, so you can see the Legacy one, which does not look as good as the the newer version. I ain't gonna lie. Now, the, this and this 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 I like this one. Um, next, last but not least, of course, we I would usually use the API, but seeing that the CLA uh, actually does a good job of sweetening vocals and stuff like that uh, within the treble. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone in this instance here. I know. I know a lot of you guys are going to find that to be funny. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah. But anyway, so I want to go on record to say that Leslie uses the H delay. He actually uses the H delay in this instance. And it's because it's very friendly with vocals. And also, this one right here is really good. This is the one I preferred. I showed him this one. And I think he really likes the Manny delay now. Because you have other options. Like you can have like your doubler uh, beta effect of the delay. And you can also uh, dial away stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just play it. Go and roll it up then. Roll it, roll it. Never mind who it might have seen. Got a mighty green. I didn't took enough losses. It's my time to win. Yeah. A guy said it's my Go and roll it up then. Roll it, roll it. Uh, but where it really gets really nice at is definitely uh, when you get to, and you can turn uh, all these on, but again, that will add to the processing power. So uh, be leery of that. Go and roll it up. Then. You can have the distortion. Go and roll it up. And you can have like phaser too as well, if you're into that. Go and roll it up. But yeah, I just want to show you the different choices in that as well. So hopefully you enjoyed what I told you. So tell me how you feel about this video because man, I just want to thank Leslie again for inviting us out 
And thank you again for putting me on with so many different people. Shout out to N over there at Icons. And shout out to everybody over there at Mean Street because, man, we have been getting it in. And y'all going to see in 2020, there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out. And and all thanks to Leslie and Waves Audio and, and many other people in the industry. My, my dude, Daniel, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody because it's important that y'all know that y'all mean a lot in my life. And I really do appreciate it.